Previously on That Guy Outdoors, the adventure led me to the serene coastline, captivated by the skill and determination of the surfers riding the waves. The journey continued as I drove deeper into the heart of the Olympic Peninsula in search of the perfect spot to set up camp along the beach. The rugged beauty of this remote area offered unparalleled views of tranquility. The following morning, I greeted the day with a steaming cup of my mushroom coffee and watched as the sun painted the sky with vibrant colors during the breathtaking sunrise. Eager for more adventure, I embarked on a hike to Cape Flattery, a place renowned for offering some of the most epic views along the Pacific Northwestern coastline. But the call of the cricket at the dealership drew me back. My journey was put on a pause as I headed back to check on its status. And now, picking up where we left off, join me in this week's adventures as I continue the exploration and adventure along the rugged coastline of the Pacific Northwest. This week promises new discoveries, more stunning views, and unforgettable moments. So get ready for another exciting episode of That Guy Outdoors, where nature's wonders await around every corner. Just stopped down here at Bar Hop in Port Angeles. Just had a quick bite to eat, had a beer, got a little bit of editing and work done. And we're gonna head out here. I don't know where we're going yet, but uh, I guess we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. So just out for a little bit of an evening walk. We're still out at the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. Uh, the cricket is still currently up at Port Angeles at the dealership getting worked on. Finding some spots to check out since don't have the cricket behind me. While I do miss it, I'm also taking the opportunity to get places that in some cases might be a little more complicated to get to with the cricket. I mean, really just doesn't get much better than hanging out at the beach. Currently we are at Fort Waldron in Port Townsend, Washington. It is a little bit later in the evening, still have some editing to do in order to get the video posted tomorrow morning. So gonna be enjoying this walk for a minute, clearing the head, and then going back and sitting down and finishing. So, but I'll take you along for the walk here, you can see a little bit.
Good morning, everybody. So here's the deal. I'm gonna get you caught up because it's been a couple days since I've filmed again. So it'll get interesting when this finally hits and drops. But I am back at Bellingham, back at my brother's house. Um, the cricket is still in Port Angeles and it is awaiting parts. So they, the parts should be in Friday. I should be picking the cricket up sometime Monday or Tuesday. So it's not a bad thing. Um, I've just been out and I've been kind of venturing around, got out to the Olympic Peninsula, beautiful, amazing area. However, I, I kind of decided it's kind of complicated to sit in the back back here to do my video edits. And I don't always like to sit at a brewery or a restaurant or a coffee shop. Uh, if you didn't know, I don't drink much coffee, regular coffee anymore. Um, I drink mushroom-based coffee. It's called Everyday Dose. I am going to go, while I'm here, I'm not going to do as much filming for the next uh, rest of this week and this weekend. Um, Monday, I'm going to head back down to the peninsula, sit and get a bunch of video editing done, go through all my photos, which I haven't done yet. You guys got to realize I do photography as well, the cinematography. I'm going to get my website finished to, uh, this week. I'm going to go through and have probably uh, two weeks edited ahead video wise so that that's done and then it'll be scheduled so that they drop on time. Uh, I'm going to schedule out some of the social media posts to correlate with the videos so it's not all of this check out what's coming you know posts. It's, it get, it's getting old. You know I can do better for you guys and I plan on it. So but I'm also going to go through all my still photos and see what I've got there for uh, pictures and some editing that can be done. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. So we, I am back in Port Angeles. The cricket is done. Heading up to Koenig to pick it up. You gotta find a spot, probably somewhere near here this evening. And tomorrow the plan is to start heading and working my way to Bend, Oregon. And then gonna kinda slowly start planning out the route to get down to Texas by the beginning of November for Dean's graduation ceremony from basic. I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit when we get over there and hook the pick it back up. Excited to get there, but we'll see you guys there. Well, good morning, everybody. If you can't see, we've got a beautiful sunrise behind us. This is where we slept last night. Um, anyways, we're getting ready to leave. We're heading down 
to the dealership, hopefully this time to finally pick up the Cricket. Uh, said we were gonna do that yesterday, so I didn't check back in. So yeah, we're heading back down. Should be ready this morning sometime around 10, I'm guessing between 10 and 12. Uh, they just had a few more things that they needed to button up. We wanted to run a, a longer test check. We tested the furnace, everything was fine. We did not get a chance to check the hot water though, so we're checking that still today. I'm gonna sit down and finish uh, my edit and make sure my video is ready to upload for tomorrow. I wanna enjoy my coffee. I would take this beautiful drive down the mountain and we'll see you guys at the dealership. Oh, hey everybody. Can't see, but the cricket's back. It's finally done. Came in this morning, which is Tuesday morning. Came in to pick it up. It was ready-ish, but we still had a couple issues that came up. So, I mean, okay, I've been asked to talk about it by several people. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. Everybody wants to know the real. Yes, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of, you know, beautiful, this traveling full time and, and being on the road, you get to go see some epic stuff, these amazing, beautiful spots, but it's not all easy. Obviously, you guys know I had the uh, deal with the hitch failing on me once and had to go get that fixed. It was the, uh, on my weight distribution hitch, one of the bars had fallen off. When Dean and I were on our way from Bozeman, Montana out to Bellingham, Washington, the furnace had quit working in the Cricket and I started getting this error code. When the thing went out, obviously I lost my hot water and I lost my heat. I wasn't too concerned about either. I mean, there's ways to deal with it, ways to, you know, um, heat up water anyways. I've still got the, the stove still working, it can still boil water. I still got a hot water kettle, an electric one. I can still do that using the Jackery. But once we got out here after the wedding was done, I found a dealer that could take it in because it's still, you know, covered under warranty and they fixed it. They had tested the heat, the furnace is working fine. I went to test the hot water and it kept airing. It kept kicking a different error code. Went back and got them because I was still at the dealership. I just pulled, they let me pull out to their parking lot out back so that I could rearrange all my stuff from the car into the Cricket and the Cricket in the car. It just, because I needed to reorganize. Obviously I've been living for two weeks out of the back of the car. Filled up the water tank, I reorganized everything got it pressurized, found a small leak, just needed to adjust it and it was fine. But that was 10 o'clock this morning. It's 2.20 now. Um, I did stop at the grocery store to grab a couple things because I lost everything in the fridge because I forgot to completely empty the fridge. Knowing, yes, I knew they were gonna cut the power to the crick, but I didn't empty my fridge. It was pretty gnarly when I opened it up. I had to empty it. I had to completely scrub it down clean everything out, throw just about everything in it away, and stop at the grocery store, pick up a couple things, so I'm good for the next uh, week. And we're on the road. So now, get to Forks, Washington, which is about an hour from where I'm at right now, out on the Olympic Peninsula. And we're gonna take it all the way around. We're gonna go to Forks, take 101 down to Astoria, Oregon. And then from Astoria, Oregon, I plan on shooting across to Bend, Oregon. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna keep driving here. It's starting to rain. So uh, I'm gonna focus on the road and we'll see you guys when we get to Forks. Well, good morning, everybody. Coffee time. And yes, we're back in the cricket. It's so nice. <laughs> I love taken off with just the car too but you know it's, it's kind of like when you go on vacation and then you come back and you're so happy to get back in your bed that's what it's like for me going it's nice to get back into the cricket but we're gonna take our coffee Ooh, it's hot and we're gonna go for a walk so why don't you guys join us let's uh, see if I can show you our nice little walk this morning Somehow we can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Be free with me Be free Be free with me Looking back, eyes on the freeway 
Bonnie and Clyde A classic cliche We're on the run This is what we waited for Oh yeah Take my hand We'll make it somehow We can't miss how You guys join me from the Atlantic beaches in Florida now out to the Pacific Ocean beaches from one side of the country to the other you gotta love it you know it's uh, kind of what this life is about getting out and doing some traveling seeing these amazing wondrous places that uh, the world has to offer it's just amazing out here so and man you guys should see the coastline i mean you can kind of see it behind me but here check this out taking a little bit of peace this morning. We will catch you guys on the flip side. See you back at the cricket. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. As always, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and don't forget to turn on notifications. We'll see you next week. Fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go.